Today is the first episode of a new series where I make a pen platformer, and in each episode I cover a certain aspect of making a pen platformer to show you how to do it. So, the first thing we're going to do is create a new sprite, just name it main, and this part doesn't matter, this is just naming it for to make it look better. Um, now we go here, and we click the extension button down there, and then we click pen right here. Now we have the pen extension in um, our code. So we're going to want to go to grab a hat block that when um, green flag clicked. And then these blocks are pretty simple and self explanatory. So erase all just erases all the pen. There's no pen on the screen, so you can't, it doesn't look like it does anything. Stamp, which we're not going to need takes the costume and just places an image of it on the backdrop. So we're not going to use that because we don't have any costumes. So the next one is pen down. This one's an important one. This will set the pen um, to draw so when we move the costume it leaves a trail. So if you see, and I hit pen down and then I go to a certain position. Oops, we're going to need to set the pen size still. Five. There we go. See, now it draws that, and then if we go to a different position, um, it'll draw the a line to there. But we're gonna always want to add an erase all at the beginning, so it doesn't redraw over the old line, because when you click the green flag. It does not erase all the stuff on the backdrop. So you're going to need an erase all right at the beginning there. So now that we've got the basics of the pen blocks down, we can start with our code. So the first thing we're going to want to do is make a new block. This one's going to be called draw um, line from x, y, 2, x, y, x, 2, um, y, 2. And this will allow us to just draw the line from one place to another place. So just a very simple block, but essential. So now to make this code, we're going to have to do put the pen up because when we're going to the X position and Y position, we do not want it drawing from the previous place it was at. So then we're going to go to X, Y, and then pen down to start the draw. Um, next part is we go to the other two positions, and then, of course, at the end, just to be sure, we do pen up again. So now you can see, if we just type in some numbers, that we will now have a line drawn from where 0, 0 to 50, 50. Great. So the next thing we're going to need to do is create um, a scroll X, actually camera X. And we're going to make camera Y too. So we're going to use camera X for now. So all we need to do, here, let's make a new block called render. So that, then we can keep all our render blocks in there. Okay. So what we also need to do is, this is essential part of making pen platformer, you will need a forever loop right here. And that forever loop must have an erase all at the very beginning because how scratch works is at the beginning of a frame it'll erase it all and that won't display it. What it'll display is what happens once you get to the bottom of the script. So whatever you put at the last part of the script that is where it looks like. That's why if you take a costume and you switch it to one costume at the top 
and then you switch it to another costume at the bottom, it'll display the costume that you set at the bottom. So, we're, we're going to want to um, edit our draw line function and make it to where it's camera x um, plus x. This is so we can offset the camera x. So when the um, camera x is greater, um, we can make the plan platformer scroll. Because on a normal platformer where you don't have any scrolling, the camera x and camera y are just 0, 0 always. But once we add the variable in, we got to make it do something to the actual code itself. So we just do the same for the this part right here. And then for the second part, we change it to camera Y. And then same for that. So now, if we change the offset of camera, um, camera Y, so just like this, just to get a good thing. Um, one moment, something's wrong. Ah, the project is not running. Okay, so now you can see that the line moves and the same thing will happen with the x function you see the line will move now so the greater we get on the y the higher it should move except we're gonna want since when you press the right arrow the x should be greater but the line should scroll in the opposite direction because you're looking at it so we should really change these values right here to just x take away camera y and x2 take away camera x y2 take away camera y and of course y take away camera x now as you can see when we get greater on the y it goes farther down because our character is getting greater and the background behind it should be going down so now we should have this just basic code right here and this is going to be the start of what we have. In the next episode, which will come out very soon, I'm going to discuss how we're going to inform our code to know where lines are drawn so the platform will begin to take shape. For now, thank you for watching.